Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here with a typing program. It's called Typing Club. It is very popular with a lot of schools. Now I'm going to anticipate that an adult is going to be setting this up for the child since the child probably doesn't know, not know how to uh, set it up. This is totally accessible with a screen reader. So I will just go through the commands. My talking software is off right now, so I'm going to just go through the commands. Uh, if you are a blind adult setting this up for a child. Uh, you can use Insert F5, Insert F6, and Insert F7. Insert F5 is typically where all of the um, options are, and I will go through that. Now, you do not have to log in. Uh, I am on the home page, typingclub.com. I want you to just keep scrolling down and you will see all the reasons to start learning now to type. Uh, it shows proper hand position, it has accessibility, it has voiceover, and you're going to put your voiceover on. That's not voiceover as on a Mac, it's you want it to voice everything, so you're going to turn on your voiceover option also. Uh, and if you keep scrolling down, more lessons, just a lot of fun, fun lessons for your beginner child. Um, so highly suggest all of that. Now, uh, get started is a button, so you could do insert F5 or you can tab to get started. Now, as soon as I click on get started, it's going to automatically log me in. Or you can control home, tab across, and you're gonna see a login, and it's just going to take you to a basic login feature. I've already logged in on this, so of course it uh, has automatically logged me in. Just tab around to log in however you want to. Now here's my name, top right hand corner. Once again, if you tab across your banner region, you'll come to your profile. And you need to enter on your name and then enter on profile. And I have selected blind, uh, because then it's going to automatically set me up with all the blind features and then tab, make sure you uh, click on save changes. Now, since I've already moved along in this lesson, I'm actually going to Alt D, or actually just Alt left arrow to go back a page. And if you actually pay for it, you're not gonna have ads on it, so that's their draw to pay for it. So here I am in Login, and I'm gonna show you how to do these um, games. Now I'm going to go ahead and start my screen reader. Five. Learn, touch, typing, free, typing club, Google Chrome. Learn, touch, typing, free. And I'm hash about. Now, you do want to use Chrome. Firefox does not work as smoothly, but wait for an update. You know, by the time you watch this, Firefox may be working just great. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tab across. Touch, typing, free, typing club, Google Chrome. Visited link, typing club. Okay. And uh, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and insert F5. Select a four field dialog. List one list view. Language button. Okay. One of four. Get started. Get started. Now, I realize a lot of sighted people are going to be using this also, and it works great. But I'm also going to tell you that if you set up the voiceover option, because what this typing program is going to tell you is never look at the keyboard. Well, if the student is listening, it really helps. So I'm going to tell you, enable the audio uh, input for all students. We're going to go ahead and hit enter on get started button. Get started button to activate enter. presenter. Again. Get enter. Here we go. Google Chrome. Get started button to activate presenter. No links. Okay. Enter. I'm going to hush it up. Now it automatically logs me in, so I'm going to adjust the URL, which you can also do. I'm going to Alt D, I'm going to hit my right arrow, and I'm just going to erase Program uh, 3 Games so we can start from the beginning. So Alt D, right arrow, Okay, I'm going to tell you, manipulating the URL uh, enables anyone to go really fast, uh, <laughs> any place you need. Uh, that is just a great go-to. Anyway, I'm going to hit enter so I can move back to Okay, and I'm going to tell you, so it's get started. Now, the first one is actually an introduction to actually how you type. And also, I'm going to show you Insert F5. If you do not have a screen reader, this not, will not work. So this is for a blind individual. So I'm going to Insert F5. Select a form field dialog. Lift. I'm going to hush them up. And if you hit L, you're going to go to Lesson 1, 2, 3, 4, and all of them. So you can 
You do not have to log in. You can go ahead and just go to your lessons as long as you enable all your accessibility modes and you can do that even without logging in. It just makes it easier to um, have the program follow your progress. So I could hit L. L language menu. L log in. L lesson one. Introduction. Okay. Type in. Hey, this is a really nice introduction. Um, and of course, it's going to tell you all the main ideas. I'm just going to hit it so I can move in and out just to give you an idea of how to do this with a screen reader. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I was on it to begin with when I opened the program, but I wanted to show you how easy it is when you get lost, because of course, a beginner student's going to get lost. Uh, and they just need to alt tab back to the program. Anyway, here we are. Hit, hit enter. Lesson one. And enter again. Type in enter. Introduction to type in Ed Club Google Pro. Type in Jungle Ed Club. So, I hear you want to type like a pro. Let's start right, by setting up Let's your finger position. Look pause, at the pause, F. Space. And I'm just going to pause. Okay, so this is going to go through the explanation of F and J, where the bumps are, and never look at the keyboard. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're low vision, fully sighted, or blind and you just want to keep moving through this. You're gonna to listen to this program and do. Listen to this video, it's very informative. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and go back. We're going to assume that listen, listen to it, and actually I'm gonna just take my mouse and move it all the way forward so it realizes or it thinks that I really did finish it. Space introduction to type in and we're back. Chrome. Introduction okay. to type. So it moved me again uh, back to uh, the home page. I'm going to tab to number two. Two keys F and J button to activate press enter. Okay. And we're going to hit enter to go to F and J. Enter. Dialog. Di and tab to the information. Are you sure heading level three? Okay because it thinks you have not completed the program because, of course, I'm just showing you the highlights of this. Highly recommend going through every lesson and not jumping ahead. I highly suggest that also. Go through every lesson so you make sure you learn everything you need. Continue button to But active. we're going to pretend we did, and I'm going to go ahead and hit spacebar to continue. Space, I can jungle at club. Keys, F and J, at club, Google, Chrome. Okay. I'm going to hush this up. Now, you can tab yeah, across. Let me insert space F. Space, speech shot demand. Okay. You want to do speech on demand because here is that voiceover that I told you about and your keyboard and your keyboard is already set up but you want to click on your voiceover and you want keyboard sound on as well as voiceover. Remember this is not voiceover on a Mac. Okay? And your, and your settings. Index finger. Okay? Block on errors if you need that on also. So all the options to change for accessibility are if you do control home, tab across, and you will hear all of these options, okay? So we're, here we are, and we're going to go ahead and get him going. And this is the voiceover on the product, so he told me to type F. Type the key, J. J. It to type J, me. type the key, space, to okay. type space, Use either thumb. Type the key. F, 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 J, 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 F, 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 J, J, J. Okay, you get the idea. So all you have to do is just keep practicing. Remember, keep your palms up, keep your fingers on home row all the time, and look straight ahead. When you finish this program, it automatically moves you back to your home. If it doesn't, once again, you can do Alt D, right arrow, and then backspace and manipulate your URL to go right back to where you need to. But it's a pretty fluid program, a lot of fun, very easy to use. You do not need to log in unless you want to uh, keep up with your progress. Um, but you can just go ahead and go right into the program, make sure your voiceover is on, and it talks the whole program. A lot of fun. Um, some kids find them boring after a while, so just take them to Word and have them type out the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, practicing their capitals using the opposite shift to the hand that is typing the letter. And that is typingclub.com. If you like these lessons, do a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and you will get more.